What's up guys? Welcome to another episode. So uh, today I'm going to do some patch panel work. Um, I decided that I was going to mess around with the uh, down here on this this little panel down there and uh, so I took all the paint off just because I saw one rust hole and I wanted to be sure that that was all that I saw but let me uh, let me show you guys what I ended up finding once I took all the paint off. So here's that rust hole that I was talking about. Um, the one that I saw was right here. So once I started taking paint off, I could see that it looks like they've uh, replaced this panel before. And then I found this rust hole there. And then further up, there's another one right there. So, so today we're gonna be making some patch panels, it looks like, because yeah, there's going to be a side skirt that covers all this and, you know, I could just use some filler like they did and fill it up, but that's not the proper way to do it. Uh, the proper way is going to be to cut this out all along, uh, pretty much just make a square panel and then go ahead and patch it. But you can see up here, looks like uh, this is probably the line that they did for uh, when they replaced the quarter panel. So they've replace the quarter panel and I'm thinking that this here is the line and you can see that they probably just didn't use any uh, any weld through primer so when you're when you're welding metals together you want to make sure that the back side is actually primed also um, but to get a clean weld you need to take the paint off that way you know you're you're getting bare metal and it looks like what they did was they they didn't use a primer that you could weld through so they stripped the paint off and then they welded it together because everywhere that i'm seeing where they've welded there's rust so it looks like either they didn't coat the back side or they didn't use a proper primer and then that's how we wind up with holes like that so um since these ones are easy i'm gonna do a video on how to do these and patch them up the right way so hope you guys follow along So there's the uh, that panel cut out and then the front panel too. So this is what you end up with. It's just a, a little cut. Um, so there's multiple ways to make templates. Uh, some people use paper, cardboard, stuff like that. Um, so on more intricate stuff, that's, that's the kind of tactic I'll use. Like on the roof where that whole panel was rusted out, what I ended up doing was uh, I have a spare roof so I could get the guideline and I took uh, masking tape and I just masking tape the whole area where I wanted to, all the contours, made sure everything was tucked in. And then I went and took a razor blade and cut off all the excess. And then I marked with uh, Sharpie, you know, where the, um, where the hard lines were and where the bends were. And then I took my, my masking tape and I put it on a piece of cardboard, you know, just an old piece of soda box or something like that. So I took that and I traced it onto the cardboard mapped out where my bins and everything were and then matched that up to the panel just to make sure that everything was okay and then you know trim off the cardboard where that's needed transfer the cardboard over to metal cut it out of metal and then you still got your all your lines and everything that you need to follow and then just build it out of metal uh, that's the best way that i found to kind of build intricate panels like that that have you know lots of uh, bends and contours and things like that. Uh, you can do it with just simple hand tools, you know, like a hammer or some vice grips. And uh, I've, I've just got like a little metal break from Harbor Freight. I think it was on sale for like 12 bucks or something. But that'll help you get those those uh, those tight 90 degree stuff. So, But with this, uh, the best thing that you can do is instead of just throwing this away, is since it's flat, 
take your piece of metal and just trace this out. I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, you don't have to go all in depth with this one. Just cut this out on a piece of metal and then use either uh, aviation snips or you can use the cutoff wheel like I was using um, and that'll, that'll cut it out of the metal. So that's gonna be the next step is I'm gonna trace this onto the metal and then we'll just probably just uh, time lapse through everything. And then whenever I'm done, I'll run through my welder settings and all that stuff. So if you guys have a, a welder that's similar, you guys can kind of run through it with me. All right guys, so I went ahead and threw on the uh, rear spat there. I'm gonna have to use these, I think. These are just veil side rear spats, but uh, the Ridox style that I have, they don't seem to fit up very well. So I don't think I'm gonna be running those yet. Uh, threw the side skirt on also, and the fender just to see how everything lines up. So obviously this isn't, perfect yet. I still gotta align everything. This is just, uh, just to kind of see where I still need to trim a little bit in there. And then with this uh, side skirt, because it's a wide body, it's a little bit of a gap. So I'm gonna have to build a bracket that kind of pushes this skirt out. That way it lines up, right? So I'll just build a, a little bracket behind there that pushes that out a little bit. But yeah, it's starting to Kind of look like a, a Supra, a little bit. So that's gonna be a wrap for tonight. Um, I didn't do that much more. Um, I went ahead and put some Bondo on here, letting that dry a little bit. Um, filled in a low spot that was there. Um, so what's next is gonna be just getting this whole thing ready to be primed. Um, I went ahead and welded in a patch panel. Maybe you can kind of see it um, right down there. So that hole's not there anymore. And I've laid some Bondo over here as well, just to fill in that, uh, that spot that I ended up cutting out and replacing. So that's all, all nice and new. You can see we got a kind of a panel in there. I still need to, to blend all this stuff in, but I went ahead and made a panel for that. So that's all in. Um, yeah, I gotta sand all this fiberglass that I went ahead and laid on it just to kind of blend it all back in. Um, up here, I still need to make this channel. So that's gonna be probably in next. I uh, need to prep the, the doors and get the door, the, the whole door frame all sanded and ready to prime. And then engine bay, I went ahead and stripped the engine bay a little bit further. I uh, got rid of the ABS and all that stuff. So this all needs sanded and prepped for paint and then once the engine bay and the door frames are good and uh, I get all this stuff kind of knocked down I think we're gonna be ready for primer um, still gotta make something for this probably just cut that out and make a, a little panel for that and then on this side also still have a little bit of welding to do on this but that's that's it. Oh, and up there. Uh, so patch those guys, these, these three little panels, and then that on this side, on the quarter glass, and that's gonna be the last of the, uh, the panels, I think. But yeah, she's not looking too bad. Um, like I said, I threw the door and the fender on just to kind of get a idea of how it's gonna look. But you can see that it, yeah 
much wider than the, the factory. So I thought it wasn't gonna be that much wider, but definitely, definitely looks like it. And it looks all right. Um, so, so yeah, that's, that's about it. I got the roof sanded. Uh, so all the paint's down on the roof. So that's all I got to do left is uh, three more patch panels and then just block sand everything. Still need to make a bracket, like I was saying earlier, for for this guy, just to come out a little bit more because you know this is a wide wide quarter and that's not a a wide side skirt. So I'm gonna build a bracket that goes behind it, kind of pushes this out this this backside out a little bit more. Um, put the rear spats on and. Should be good to prime. It's getting there. Engine bay is going to be a nightmare to sand, but I think we can handle that. And then the door frames, I'll probably just sand by hand. It's easier to get up in there. Um, but yeah, so if you guys like stuff like this, go ahead and uh, subscribe. Let me know what you think. Um, go ahead and leave a, a comment down below. I'm kind of tossing around the idea of maybe painting the car white. Um, not sure. I mean, I already have, you know, black fenders, black side skirts, black hood sitting over there. But who knows? Maybe maybe white would be a good color for this thing just to kind of show off how how white it is. I don't think black gives uh body lines that, that much justice. But um Yeah, once I get done with uh with the outside, I still need to go ahead and put some fiberglass in here and mold it into the inside. So you can see that there's still a little bit of a gap um, between these panels. So I'll go ahead and take some fiberglass and fill in that little hole there. And uh, that'll give me like a good lip. But that's gonna be it for this episode. Um, yeah, I didn't film a whole lot of patch panel work, but all the uh, the main patches that I was worried about, all the big stuff is all done. I did that on this uh, Titanium Unlimited 200. Uh, there's a whole chart on the inside of the door in here that tells you the settings that you need to be at. So if we look, uh, 16 gauge is what I'm using to patch all this stuff. So you can, you can just go down and it'll tell you your settings. Uh, I've kind of turned the the volts all the way down uh, for this thin stuff because it kind of it likes to burn through and then the wire speed I've also turned down so it it says uh, for wire speed to be at a 95 but I, I turned that down to about an 80 and then uh, this here on the inductance I just leave that at 10 that that works out pretty well but yeah uh, patch panels down here are all done Still need to finish sanding them down a little bit, uh, put a put a little bit of filler on that, and then just block sand those out. Like I said, the side skirt's gonna cover those, so I'm not too worried about them, but I'm still gonna make it look smooth. Uh, this is just some short strand fiberglass that I've laid over top just to blend it in, get rid of all the, the low spots from the, the welding and all that stuff, but yeah, that's gonna be it. Go ahead and uh, like, subscribe, share it if you want to. And uh, we'll see you guys on the next episode.